Let's get this straight. Crime Inc. makes its money from the black market, and that black market is dominated by drug money. And the most drug-infested state in the most drug-infested country is Vermont. Yep, and score right here. Copper, precious metals, all these pipes right here. That'd be probably, I don't know, 10 bucks at the junkyard. Back when I was using anything that I used for the farm, I see a dollar sign to it. There's a few bucks, huh? $10 and $10 and $10 adds up. Oh, chainsaw. That'd be my day's fix right there. Me and my family are in the dairy industry. It's been in the family for four generations. Five years ago, I, none of that was, I wouldn't even cared, you know, it was, how am I gonna get high? My drug of choice was Oxycontin. And if you're having a bad day, you do one of them, life's great. Once you establish that relationship with the pill and this will take care of my problems. This is my take care of my problem pill. It's real hard to uh, to let that go and live life normal. The drug dealers of Crime Inc. see Vermont farmers like Dustin as ideal customers in an expanding market. Follow the data and it's clear why. Drug abuse is up nearly 800% since 2000. In one survey, one in six Vermonters admitted to using illegal drugs in the past month. And almost one in five high school seniors have abused prescription pills. So why is it that drug dealers are making mountains of green in the Green Mountain State? This is a very beautiful rural area, but it's very populated with uh, narcotics and people that use them. And I think the reason is there's a very good market for it here. This market might be rural, but it's easy to get to. Interstate highways running along Vermont's borders connect the drug distribution hubs of New York, Boston, and Montreal. Add Vermont's roads and highways, and it becomes a crossroads for the illicit. Trucks filled with cheese and ice cream share the road with couriers carrying drugs, and making a sales call in Vermont is as simple as pulling off the highway. Right here, we're coming up to the park and ride. People uh, I knew, I bought drugs from. That was our hangout spot. Just off the interstate, it's really convenient for someone bringing drugs in from Boston, New York, wherever. And it's not like it's a big city where we got hundreds of cops roaming. New York City has over 34,000 police officers. In the county in Vermont where Dustin lives, there are 97. And only 70 of them work full time. The result is an epidemic of drug consumption with heroin and prescription pill abuse responsible for almost half of all rehab admissions in the state. Why pills? Simple demographics. Vermont has the second oldest median age in the U.S. And a higher proportion of senior citizens means more prescriptions floating around. We joked around, me and my buddies, that it was easier to get pills than it was pop. Yeah, I mean, it just too easy. So thanks to a perfect storm of population demographics, interstate highways, and understaffed law enforcement, Vermont becomes a profit center for Crime Incorporated. Drug dealers, they're good business people. It's no different than any other business. 